Hmm, that actually works. If I just let her come to me. Everybody but me is so stupid. Pressure's on, Charm. Come on. <laughs> Could have been game over. <laughs> ah, one shot, right? One shot. So we beat the thieving midriff. She's mortally wounded, and now she dies, which is good. Now, unfortunately, she lives, and she's going to come back and steal from our store later on. But that's fine. Now, instead of sending Louis to his death, we can use Charm, which is great, because she is faster, and uh, all games are about going fast. We're not playing this for the writing though, are we? We're playing it for the money. It's funny that you pick up the very odd vase at this point because it's uh, nobody's going to buy it right now. Nobody has the budget to buy it. So we could return home, it wouldn't take any time. Oh, but this action will not take any time. Good. It's nice that this takes uh, pokes at all those RPG tropes. Jake, given your love of our glorious country full of freedom, have you ever been to the US? I've been there six or seven times, so yes. Can't get enough of that freedom. I'm tempted to come back again this year, but we'll see. These Swedish krona are pretty worthless, so uh, might not get me over there. Ah, okay. It will take time. It'll make a... Make it take another one period of time to get back to the shop, so we may as well see all these events. I, I didn't play this game for these dark feelings. Alright, but uh, the Merchant Guild and the mm, market are still open. And we have two days to pay off the, uh... Oh, we gotta buy all the expensive stuff now. All of it. How about that armor? Yeah. And food as well, because food sells great. Oh, but mufflers. Mufflers also sell well. Need to make sure I have plenty of cheap crap. <clears throat> Candy fills that perfectly. But uh, the more expensive stuff goes great as well. So let's get ourselves a yam. Everybody wants those for dindins. And that'll do. Let's make some dosh. Good, but perhaps not good enough. What's the little girl going to buy if she comes in? Got to tailor for her as well, so uh, a little bit of candy. 
make me money. Check out Fusion 2, Jake. Nah, not yet. Ah, charming. It's alright, Charm only wanted to murder Louis, and uh, frankly she could do that, because Louis has got no money. Beef housewife, because we need the money. <laughs> Unfortunately, the first thing the thief wants to do is sell us stuff, and uh, we don't have much money, so I'm just going to give her as little as we can for it. I don't care much about uh, her opinion or her level. <laughs> you just bought this! Schizophrenic housewife strikes again. Two weapons in three days. Man, should I write that down? Nah, that'll be fine. However, man is not particularly highly leveled, so we'll just have to give him uh, regular long swords, I think. So we'll just need to remember to go and pick some up. <laughs> Disappointing haul for the night. had a bowl of stew hidden in the den. Probably best not to know. Alright, how are we doing on the whole merchant level thing? Okay, yeah, take the advanced orders. That's what the two-weapon malarkey was all about. But uh, what can we do now? Well, there's not much point going back to the Adventurer's Guild. And if I recall, I'm going to need... I'm going to need that slime liver. I think a bat wing. Do I have a bat wing? don't have a bat wing. I'm going to have to dungeon dive just for that. Mm. But I can't remember the other thing, so there's not much point wasting our time doing that. Let's just make the money whilst we can. It's the morning, so surely everybody wants food. Including my nutmegs. Show me the money! Oh yeah, this is the, uh, the little guy. The little annoyance. Why does he look like he's seven years old and why does he have a tactical choker on? These Chinese cartoons. I do like his attitude towards Reset, so maybe we can get on fine with this guy. I have no idea how to pronounce his name though. Kylo? Charred Lizard, Batwing, and Slime Lizard. Okay, so I don't have two of those items. So I'll probably do that today, as long as I have the picks to survive the next uh, loan installment, which will be fine. Alright, enough of that. Now, as we know, old man has plenty of dosh, so he'll be happy to take away the beef bowl. Maybe he can take away the honey with him.
Uh, I suddenly see <laughs> from Dunkora that I sold iron armor for 60%. Sounds like something I would do. Alright, now old man wants some treasure. I would love to give him the very odd vase, but it's much too expensive for him, so it's just going to sell for unthankful statue. And that'll do nicely. Careful with that yellow text now, Jake. You've gone wrong twice already. Ah, he did come for the honey. Excellent. Uh, and one more bit of selling. Because I need that money. No, that doesn't leave much for the little girl to have. I'll give her the candy. One more bit of spending and it's uh, back down to the dungeons. Because I need to deal with Kylo. Oh, excellent. You want a weapon. Unfortunately, you probably can't afford this. But I'm going to try and sell it anyway. It will just be uh, base price. Okay, I'm a generous guy. Bugger. Jake, what achievements? <coughs> Jake, what achievements did you enjoy completing the most in EU4? I did two Swedish ones. It seems too easy. Suggestions for something challenging, but not impossible for us mere mortals. Well, to be honest, I really enjoyed um, Gothic Invasion. So, give it a go. All right, we did the yellow text correctly. See, old man is my savior. He buys the expensive stuff. And we're safely over the 10,000 pix mark, so we're safe to go dungeoneering. We don't have to worry about tomorrow's uh, deadline. I ain't paying you jack for an unfactual statue. You should have gone for 70%, just like the armor. That's quite alright, thanks. The thing is, it doesn't really matter if you mess up and don't notice, because, I mean, you're not going to be any wiser. Two food stuff, three days. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm leveled up man at all, so again, he's just going to have to get something like teriyaki. But now we can go dungeoneering, my favourite. Ugh, just Louis available, though. Well, onwards. Charred lizard and bat wing. Who even drops Charred Lizard? Actually, I think the giant rat guy drops the Charred Lizard. And that's a pain. Because you only get one shot at it. The wing, however, I believe that comes from the floating eyeballs, so I just need to find some of those and punch them relentlessly. Honey, though, that's something I want a lot of. It sells for good money. Ah. Jake, it's pronounced Kyo. Kyo? Yeah, you're not giving me much, much to work on with the uh, KYE. Living here in <coughs> Sweden has destroyed all confidence I ever had in being able to pronounce things correctly. So forgive me.
really hoping I'd have I would have the thief by now, but gotta be old slow Louie. At least he's a fairly easy character to use. But once you go pretty much anyone else, you don't want to go back. Kayu, okay. Or is it Caillou? I'm not sure if I got much further than this the last time I tried to do a playthrough of uh, Reset here. So I will have to endeavour to keep this up. Because I want to have, I want to have vending machines selling vending machines. That is the way the game was designed to be played. Curse is where are all the uh, the bat things. I need those. considering I'll be switching out of Louis, there's very little point in destroying everything I come across, so from now on, let's just well, maybe murder the bunny for Ebe. But otherwise, onwards and upwards. You drop honey, and you drop honey. You know what? Enjoy the explosion. <laughs> oh yeah. Gotta get that honey. I'll take that actually. You still have a chance for loot, Jake. May as well slash them all up. Nah, man. There's no time for that. I come here to sell stuff. Not dungeoneer like a pleb. Okay, so this guy should, with a bit of luck, drop us what we're after. Which is the charred lizard. Or he'll just slap us around. Oh wow. The experience he drops should level us up quite nicely, so no need to worry. Or I could harvest experience this way. Means to an end and all that. Now, Chantelise was horrible in that... Uh, Things would drop, I think it was money rather than experience, but it was these uh, <clears throat> same kind of gems. But they wouldn't automatically come towards you like they do in this game. And they were such a pain to walk around and pick up. Like you wouldn't believe. Is she saying easy? She's right, it is easy. Too easy. Ah, excellent, we got the lizard. But do we continue? Yeah, we continue. We need that bat wing as well. Oh, oh, this could be bad. Let's just not engage those <clears throat> whilst we're knocking on death's door.
We need the bats, and we need them bad. Oh dear, oh dear. No, not like this. Those two were ballsy. All right, that's what we're looking for. Drop me your wings already. Random numbers are the greatest numbers, but at least they should respawn there, so I can just kind of run circles around until they drop me the blasted wings, and then we are out of here. Well, as fast as we can go. So what are Jake's goals for this game? Uh, complete it. Mostly I just want to enjoy it. Because I love making money. Jake, what Russian miner is your favourite? Probably Nichny Novgorod. So cute, but so unloved. But so frequently revolting in Europa Universalis 3, where you almost never see them in 4. Wow, grapes? That's a rare one. Seems a bit of a waste to sell it, to be honest. Okay, sadly, the, uh, the guys who wanted to respawn have decided today is not respawning day. rubbish that we can get rid of right now. I mean, we have... Hmm, can I eat these? No, I cannot. I don't want to throw away anything worth the boon dollar. I'm sure Bane would agree with your choice in Russian miners. Not sure what you're getting at there, but any dig at Bane is a good dig. Bane and his bankruptcy stress. Getting so angry at his, uh, his budget screen lying to him when he's looking at the wrong numbers. I miss Bane, I hope he comes back. Okay, so the bats do not want to respawn for me. How unfortunate, but we'll just have to hunt them down. Like it's rescue embassy mission. Uh, fairly useless items. Of which muffler is one. This is, uh... I don't want to go dungeon diving again just for the wings, so where are our friends, the bats? I know I'm doing a good job, Reset. Thank you. Oh, yes, just what we're looking for. Give me the wing. And with that, we are out of here. 
short of it, Jake Nishnin revolted away from Bain during his partitioning of Russia in the Great Khan race, isolating half his troops in Europe with no access, along with a ton of uncored land. <laughs> Sounds like a Bain strat through and through. Okay, no interest in fighting anything else around here, let's just get out. Unless it's a bee. Or wasp, or whatever they're meant to be. <laughs> meant to be. <sighs> well, chow down. Can't even, can we? Alright, get rid of it. Shut it down. That's oh, even worse. Lizard Pope says, Jake, stop playing the Chinese cartoons, please. Well, if you can give me a pretty good reason to, then of course I will take that into consideration. But I wouldn't count on it. In the end, the first rule of this stream is that I play what I want. Even if it might seem that it is not at all what I want. These are communists. But that just means we have to set them straight. Give me another one. For good luck. No. Okay, now the sorry thing is that... Oh, we don't fight Charm again. What do we get? Take it. I guess we only fight Charm again in a boss rush. So I know you get the new game plus in this game if you fail to pay off your debt, but what's the point? If you can't do it in one shot, then don't even try. Okay, so yeah, the 10,000 is due, but we already have it, so uh, what do we focus on? Uh, there's only one event out there. Not too concerned about it. Let's just get selling. It's the morning time, so everybody wants all the, uh, all the food we have. And honey makes us the money. Looking good. Ah, oh, his intentions are pure, and I think that's a lot more money than we deserve for those items. An easy way to get by on the, uh, the first loan. No, 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 Louis, you're not getting diddly for that. Not very thankful for that statue. Is this where everybody starts selling me stuff? And, uh, oh boy, now do I feel bad for ditching that bracelet. Sorry, no bracelet for you. I've got plenty of candy, girl. You want some of that? A treasure, eh? Well, 
Louie might have just thrown us a bone here. Pay up, Grandpa. A hat. Oh, jeez. You're ruining my combos, kid. Get out. Buying Grandpa's cherry, okay. Nothing wrong with that. <sighs> Alright, so we satisfied that, but there's still only one event in the town square. Should I go and deal with it? I still have so much to sell. But we'll go and deal with it anyway. It's in the spirit of the game. Oh good, the kid is crying. That's what you get for messing up my store. I sold your dolly to Louie, so he could practice. I think the girl's hungry, she's talking about going to eat some gato. Okay, so uh, we messed up by not having enough items, so let's fix that. A few mufflers, just in case. We already have some shoes. Don't think anyone's going to come in for a ring. Yeah, a few of these horrible treasures. We never have enough books. Mm. It's the little girls that love the books, so we'll be fine with three of the cheap-ass ones. Beeples are great. They sell for plenty of dosh. Nobody's going to buy uh, floor tiles or carpets off of us. And we have a couple of necklaces. So all in all, no problems there, but it's some of the clothes that are an issue. Also, didn't somebody want to buy a couple of weapons off of us? In that case, I'm going to want two long swords for them. And the crafter's knife, we need that for charm. Just buying up some cheap things so that when people come in with demands, we can fulfill them. Don't want to spend too much, however. I do, you know, have to uh, pay off my debt at the end of the day. Right, hats, that was the problem. Helmets too, couldn't hurt. Alright, that's us much better. And what fusion can we do? Uh, ooh. Rank 1 sword. Does it cost money to make? Gilded sword. Great, we'll keep a hold of that. I'm sure nobody will want to buy it. I guess we'll need to replace our long sword though. And with that... Bracelet! Oh, needs five of them. We'll forget that. I'm not going for another uh, charred lizard. That's fine though. Let's get back. Let's get selling. It's the name of the game. Okay, Guildmaster wants a treasure. Now I'm not quite sure that he has the uh, the budget for the thankful statue, but we don't have one anyway. With a bit of luck, this will level him up. Maybe he did level up and I didn't catch it, but I don't think there's a way to even check. Maybe if I was able to read the save file somehow, but... I'm not smart enough for that. Yes, this time we're ready for you with the bracelets. But we won't give you an iron one because you probably wouldn't be able to afford it with your paltry budget. Chat said he did level up. Who are we talking about here? Guild man or regular man? Stop selling me stuff. I gotta pay my loans.
Uh, seriously, guys, stop selling me stuff. <laughs> there is uh, very little left in the budget. Guildmaster, alright. Giving Guildmaster a little tick. Okay, right. I kind of wanted to give this to Louis, but he wouldn't be able to afford it. So, old man, enjoy your sword. Gee, she's uh, always coming in with the demands. What could she possibly afford? Ah, candy for her. Okay, there's an event going on at the pub, but I feel a little insecure with only 17,000 buckets, so... Keep the money flowing. Come on, magic man. Give me the card. Chapel masters have been seizing items that they claim to have a corrupting influence on man's immortal soul. Mm. I bet that would sell well. Alright, well, Louis is officially fired. firepower. But that's enough of you. Get out of my face unless you're selling stuff. Or preferably buying stuff. Alright, I don't like you, so uh, get out of my shop now, Louis. Mm. I wish I had something that was barely edible to give to him, but sadly I do not. Just take the chocolate and go. Take the chocolate to Sal. And that's, uh, actually that's tick one for Louis. Wouldn't mind him coming back now. I'm not really interested, but give me the experience points. It's a waste of time buying any treasures. People are selling them to me like crazy. It's handy having the guts of 300 eyes to keep an eye on who is leveling up and who isn't. Because it is criminally unclear. <laughs> she didn't like the yam I gave her. Well. 1350, and that's the best I can do yet. No, oh, that's for charm. There are no words for this. Okay, well, whatever. Just take the uh, cheapest piece of garbage I've got. Nah. Focus staff for you. You won't be able to use it, but you can have it. This isn't your fence. How do you know if a customer leveled up? They get a little heart above their head when they level up, but you gotta keep a, keep a track of that. What is this, Evangelion?
そう何言ってますの I get the feeling that I met this girl in uh... the heck is that game called? Something something a magical tale. I think the main character is bloody hell! How could I forget that game? It was one of the worst games I ever played in my life. Something something a musical tale. I've broken the flow of whatever I was going to say, but now it's bugging the hell out of me. What was that awful game? <laughs> Someone's gonna have to save me. This is bugging the heck out of me. Rhapsody, a musical adventure. Yes. Feels like I met that this girl here from uh, Rhapsody. Oh, what an awful game that was! I once watched a speedrun on it, but it was so painful. And naturally, I had already played it. Man, another midriff. And again, why are they all about five years old? There's so much I don't understand about this. <laughs> I want to... I want to skip this, but at the same time, I don't want to skip this. It's a Day of the Tentacle all over again. I think she's telling me to reset the game. Alright, so she's finally left my uh, plebeian store, and that seems like a good point to save up. I'll probably try and get this done in how many? Is it like one, two, three, four, five, six shots? Six shots, and I'll get it done. Six payments. Uh, but that's me for the night. I'm gonna go and play some Majora's Mask for a while, and you can't watch that. So I'm gonna be in bed when I do it, and it's, this is a PG-13 stream. In the meantime, I've still got to think up a new EU4 campaign. I just about said EU3, and maybe that's the solution we need. I, uh... It's not a bad idea, actually. Maybe I'll stream EU3 as, like, a nostalgia run tomorrow. Yeah, okay, if nothing if nothing else changes, that's what we'll go for. But yes, this has been a chunk of Reset here. And this time we actually will finish the game. But cheers everyone, hope you have a good night, and uh, keep making that money. It's the only thing worth doing. <laughs>